try the same one. Oh yeah, I like where that is. Frogfish! I hope I land this fish, it's my first of the year. It's got me in that grass right there. Barely hooked. Oh, barely hooked, I might not land this one. Nice. I wish it had hit closer. Can't complain, I got him on the back hook, barely hooked. This is the Lunker Hunt prop frog. It is a very nice looking bait. I've been fishing it a lot in the pads and I finally got one to eat it in the pads, which is pretty sweet, but probably about a two pounder and worth its weight in gold. If you fish in Washington, um, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I don't catch fish on frogs out here. There's certain lakes where you do, but for the most part, I just struggle with the frog. I've had a couple blow ups on this longer hunt prop frog this year. You wanna make your first cast count, whatever that means to you. If you think there's a fish somewhere and you haven't shot around with that rod for a second, practice cast to other spots near where you're aiming for, but far enough away where you're not like affecting the fish that you're targeting. Get used to the lure you're about to throw, the rod you're about to use, and then make your cast. It'll increase your juicy cast to juicy looking spot ratio. There we go. Not big at all, but large mouth. I thought he was coming at me or something, but just turns out he's a little tiny one. Oh, I hooked it. It's not small. There you go. Super Spook Junior. Not quite a pound, but I'll take it. Maybe there's another one over there. Fish aren't pellet fed, they eat living creatures all day long. That's how they survive. Oh, did I get that one too? Wow. There's, there's some fish right here. I'll keep fishing for a second. One drawback of the Lunker Hunt prop frog, it's not quite a weedless frog, just in the sense its action is pretty crappy if it winds up a bunch of plants onto its legs. Whereas like a regular frog, its legs just slide through. You're constantly fishing. The action is just a little bit different. I like to fish this one more like a buzz bait or a popper than a frog. I think it absolutely mimics, mimics a frog when you stop it in the water. And I really like to stop it in ju like juicy looking spots and then pop it like a popper. So I'm fishing like a weedless popper sort of. This stuff that I'm fishing right now in particular, I don't know, milfoil looking stuff. It's wispy enough that the frog's legs just kind of wind all the milfoil around it. And it's really inconvenient. The milfoil looks great. I should really have a regular frog on right now to fish it, but I'm lazy.